Good morning, everyone. Um, on a fine day it is in at Rugby Park, Coffs Harbour. Um, we are live now. Um, 14's kicking off. Snappers versus Marlins. You know, nice sunny day, little breeze. What more could you ask for? I'm Zeb Missios, um, under 16's Marlins player, and to my left I have Dino Might and Oliver Kenning. Alright, so Marlins on the 14's team list. Number one, Luke Nilsson. Number two, Lucas McLaughlin. Number three, Jake Binley. Four, Sid Benson. Five, Zach Young. Six, Flynn. Seven, Charlie Batty. Eight, Riley Evans. Nine, Max Clark. Tom, ten, Tom O'Connor. Eleven, Cooper Marl. Twelve, Jono. Somersell. Thirteen, Jay Crismal. Fourteen, Maggie McConaughey. Fifteen, Marlon Frost. Sixteen, Hugh. Seventeen, Jack Carroll. Eighteen, Sonny Allen. Nineteen, Lockie Potts. Twenty, Jack Simmon. Twenty-one, Sam Cox. Twenty-two, Tyree. Twenty-three, Seth Moody. Twenty-four, Jack Barry. Twenty-five, Malone Canning. And the Snappers team, number one, Lucas Clifford. Two, Chris Dawson. Three, Kyan. Four, Angus. Five, Thomas Ranson. Six, Sebastian Riz. Seven, Liam Damon, leading the boys out at captain. Eight, Joseph Hammond. Nine, Angus Kaywood. Ten, Lincoln Kellett. Eleven, Tui Apanu. Twelve, Damien Ku. Thirteen, Imogen Damon. Fourteen, Charlie Egan. Fifteen, Max Christensen. Sixteen, Lockie Evans. Eighteen, Ethan Cameron. 19, Jackson Volp. 20, Tom Cooper. 21, Jasper Smith. 22, Jack Dawson. 23, Talon. 24, Riley Scullin. The full pack for the Snappers seems to have a bit of size on the, on the Marlins. Running with some hard balls like that. Nice Cleaning play out. out. Got a penalty here. Kick for touch, beautiful. Good little kick. See what each other's teams, what their lineouts can do. Another player to keep your eye on out there is Snappers captain, Liam Damon. Open side flanker, play to watch. Quick over the ball. Hard running. Mobile. Great player. Great player. We'll see um the looks like the snappers have a bit of bit of size on the mile, so we'll see how these scrums go. Looks strong there, Ollie. Not a bad scrum from the Marlins and Snappers, actually. Using the backs. Good tackle. Number 10, Bill Edgear. What's his name up? Number 10. For Snappers. Um, Lincoln. Lincoln's having a blinder already. Number nine for Mullins, little Max Clark. Yeah. Little cheeky, cheeky little boy. Real good in around the rock, sniping and always, passes. Always a case with the number nine, isn't that right, Al? Yeah, I wouldn't know about a halfback, but yeah. <laughs> hey guys, these old people here can't quite see. Is there any chance you could stand a bit to the side? Well, we're I understand the... that, but just maybe one of you there, just like older people can't see. Oh, yeah. Just... Um. Right. Oh, she's only doing it for us. 
See what Mars do here. Swing Here's it swing. wide early. Nice little offload around the corner. Young Marlon Frost playing fullback. His name's Marlon and he plays for Marlins. What a coincidence. Down the blind goes. And he's in. I think it's Jay Crismal. Jay Crismal, new, new, new to Rugby Union. Come back, um, I think it was for Rara Valley, the yeah. league there, but. Um, We've contracted him for Marlins and um, he's doing us a favour in this. Yeah. First year union. Having a blind. Having a blinder this year. Heard he used to go right in league. Did yeah. you hear that, Zap? Yeah, I think I heard that, eh? Hey. Young Comets Junior. Comets, Arrow, you name it. Maybe a bit of rep for the league, who knows? Big things coming up for Jay Crismo, you reckon? League or Union? Yeah, you could say that. Broly Evans here kicking, number eight. Let's see if we can put over the black dot, eh? Riley Evans reminds me a bit of Reese Hodge, if anyone knows Reese Hodge. Can knock it over from about 60 out. Kid's only 14. Yeah, he's got a we cannon, just, we just watched the, watch the cannon on him. He's got, he's got the wind with him here. He comes so. in from the sideline. He, Easy he got the stuff. distance. Oh, a bit off to the right, that's alright. At least he's getting that good strike, am I right, Zeb? Yeah. Head over the ball, Roll. Head over the ball. Follow through. Follow through. So, we're about five minutes in. Marlins five, Snappers nil. Snappers will come back from this kickoff hard, I suppose, Roll. So, um, yeah. I'll pick their heads up and, um, they, who knows what their coach said, but, um, They'll be ready. They won't come out so, or, or bit off on the kickoff. Jakey oh, takes it on the full. He's giving it up, but the snappers we gave him the ball. So we were right about him coming out full strength after that try. Good hard running by the I think it was a prop. Good ball. Yeah, another great halfback is Angus. The snappers, the number nine. Quick. Another cheeky halfback around the rock. A perfect ball straight into the hands. All right, snappers kicking for touch. We'll see what the lineout's looking like for both teams. Snappers have got a big second row. I can see there. I reckon it'll be. Pretty good in the lineouts. Yeah, Marlon's got this uh, Sid Benson number four, and um, the other second row for Snappers, a tall bloke. Um, Sid is built like a skyscraper. Both two skyscrapers. Looks like we're in a city here, old. Some tall blokes in front of the 14s side, but um, no, it'll be a good matchup. Will be a great matchup. We'll see what they, we'll see what they've got right now. Oh yeah, Snappers. Bit of an off throw to start off. What happens? Bit of a breeze would have affected it a little bit. Yeah, could be off that. I've watched that hooker throw for snappers quite a bit. He's a great hooker. Really stands out for me. Yeah. Another scrum early. Both teams looking to see who's more dominant in the scrums. First scrums in the game really are the ones that count. Yeah. See what Marlins have having um, what they've got to attack for. See if they put any moves on. What um, coach Jack Kenning has um, put in the box. They've knocked it here. In their own, tw in their Marlins 22, they have a chance here. Push them over on this scrum and then hopefully use the backs. Get over the white line. Also in the back line for the snappers is Liam Damon's sister, Imogen. 
in the outside centre. Great player for a girl. Probably better than most of Marlins boys. <laughs> and there's also, we've also got a girl in the Marlins team out in the wing, Maggie McConaughey. Probably better than all the boys as well. Probably two best players on the field, if you ask me. Good to, see, all good to see a couple of girls mm. getting around the game of footy. I think there might be a bit of beef going on with Maxi and Angus around the scrums. Both go to school together. Bit niggling. Nothing bad about that, but. Came full, you right? They've come yeah, close this line. There's Max here. again. Making a tackle on the big bike, even though he's close to the smallest on the field. Here's a skyscraper. Not a bad run. Great tackle by Flynn, I think it was. Lacking a bit of line speed from the Marlins, if you ask me. Snappers have got him on the back foot. Perfect opportunity for a try. I mean, what would you do in this situation? Would you swing it wide on the right side there? Or? Yeah, I'd look for a wide ball out to the winger, get over in the corner. Ma looks like Marlins getting sucked in here. Snappers are going through the middle. The try is brewing. <laughs> look to the left, though. It's all open, Yeah, mate. it's all open. Swing it, Snappers. And they get in oh, through the middle. In. Five all here. Beautiful game. I think it was. I didn't get that, eh? I didn't see you kick that up. Yeah, um, I can see the that? kid. I just don't know his number. Which one is it? Black and green, Gilbert headgear. Oh, yeah. Red boots. Back. Let's give it a spin. No, he still takes us. We've got Lincoln taking the conversion. He's a great kid, I've seen him. Been watching him. Used to rep him back in primary school days. And he used to play up for Dorigo. Great player. Num number eight, Ollie. The snappers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the number eight. So the try score just then was. The snappers. Joseph Hammond. Joseph Hammond. Good try, mate. Lincoln kicking against the wind. Good no problems. Kick. Oh, oh good sweat to the yeah. Good At the distance. Nudge. Yeah, great nudge, actually. Great nudge. So, it takes a score to five all. Beautiful game of footy, beautiful day. Heard all the boys, the young ones going on about down at the sheds, how they love this time of year. Love yeah. footies, final footy. Don't we all, Ollie? We all do. The standard just lifts so much when it comes to finals. Everyone oh. looking for a spot in the grand final for next week. Tell me about it. Any team will pull something out of their pants. Oh. Could be like the work. Like, yeah, that one. Right. <laughs> So also playing today down south we got at probably this time as well. Hastings Valley Vikings versus Port Pirates. Hastings are on top of the ladder, so I'm guessing they might get the win and then into the grand final. So going off that, whoever wins this game between Marlins and Snappers will probably be facing Hastings Valley in the grand final next week. Here we have Marlins in there, 22 now. Great run by Sid. Sid Benson, the other high tower, making some good runs today, this morning. There goes young Zach. Big unit for under 14s. Big unit. Dorigo Jr. Dorigo Jr. They're pushing their, on their back foot here, snappers. Marlins giving it back to them. Tom, little step, finds Jono and there's men we're talking about, Riley Evans. Reece Hodge. Still flowing to the right, great ball by Tom. Looks up with Jono. He's over. over. Great run by Jono. It's a really great setup, don't you reckon, Zeb? Just no errors the whole oh, way down the field. Nice flowing footy, eh? Yo? And just to try to top it off is. Couldn't really ask for more when playing footy. 
pudding on the cake. Icing on the cake. Same thing. <laughs> there was the stick. The stick. Oh yeah. Yeah, these Marlins players, they got dents and feet here, come with the backs like to step around and that. Very quick on the feet in the back line. Lincoln in the snappers back line, the number 10. He's pretty quick on his feet when he gets a chance to. Especially in primary school. As I said back in the day when I used to ref him. And Dorigo, so quick on his feet. Break the line if you wanted to. It reminds me a bit of Kalen Ponga. And Riley Evans just missed that kick. A bit in front and be pretty disappointed in him. I'll have to give him a few lessons after that one. Takes a score to 10 5, Marlins up. What do you think about Woody last night? Old Tigers went down. Didn't watch it. <laughs> we should be talking about the Titans game. I am a Titans fan, they did get up over the, the Dragons. What a game that was. Oh, also got to talk about the Waratahs game last night. Did you watch that? Um, Waratahs, no, it, was a do or, it was a do or die for them. They won, they stayed in the camp. Against? Rebels. They beat the Rebels, did they? Yeah, they got up early. Second half as well. They got lucky. Comeback was on for Rebels, but just couldn't finish it off. Be right back there. There's Tom clearing the ball. Not a bad kick. Good kick return from Max Christensen from the Snappers. Good player to watch. Martin's going with the, oh, so, Snappers, sorry, going with the eight man line out. There he is again, Liam Damon. Zach just somehow stole that from the line out. Marlon's got him on the back foot here, look to swing it wide. Hey, I'm back, mate. There's so, that man again, Riley Evans, we're talking about. He's over for a try. Here go the reserves for the Marlins. We got Lockie Potts, Jack Barry going into scrum half, Hugh. Sammy Cox. Sammy Cox and number 25. Don't know who that is. <laughs> Some say, I think he's a canning actually. Yeah, far out. My own canning maybe. Oh, I'll check the list actually. 25 for Marlins. Yeah, it is my own canning. Malone. Malone. Coming off Max Clark, Zach, Lockie Batty, Flynn, all having blinders out there. And Stern, uh, Lucas McLaughlin is um, a bit um, shooken up. <laughs> Loves leading the boys around the paddock. Lucas. Yeah, he's having a break now. Very Coming off, he's had a good uh, work rate this last couple of 10 minutes. But, just um, to my left here, just rocked up. We got Dylan Loader. And to his left, um, we have Ash Chapman, former. Dylan, um, what can you say about the under 14 standard of rugby this year? Well, they're obviously a very good team, coached by Jack Kenning. Um, he leads the boys well and he teaches them good static, um, statistics and, yeah, just a good round of player. Hey, Ash, when it comes to hello. <laughs> he, Ash just set up the snappers. Yeah, he's off the balcony now. I think he's... I don't know where he put him. So, back end of first half. Martin's definitely got the upper foot in the first half. Riley's, look at the distance on the kick. I'll tell you about the strike on the kid. Reese Hodge. Reese Hodge, I'm telling you. You don't, you don't see that type of skills from under 14s play around these days, so it's really good to see Riley have some skills. Can I get his um, birth certificate, thanks? <laughs> so that takes score 17 5. Marlon's up. <laughs> yeah. 
So look, Lincoln, the snapper's looking to get us on the, underway again. Big chase from snappers here, looking hungry for the ball. There's that man Sid Benson we're talking about again. A lot of these boys in Mullins and Snappers all go to school together too, bit of rivalry. This game will def definitely show a bit of bragging rights for the boys at school. Oh, wouldn't it just? Hey, Rob. How you going, mate? Oh, you yeah. come, Sam. Yeah, I <laughs> Hey, all right. Great defence by Snappers then. I think pushing him out. Or forcing a knock on. Can't quite see. Need to get my eyes checked. No, it must be the sun, huh? The beautiful day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, oh, I don't know if we said it, but it is a beautiful day here at Snappers Park. Beautiful. Turf has copped a beating over the cast couple weeks, but it has held up. They've held strong, I tell you, these Snappers, looking to keep the, the field um, nice and genuine for us. It is a great, great game of footy when you get to play on the Snappers field. Love it. Not trying to bag our home field, but Snappers definitely got the upper hand on us. Up the Marlins anyway. It's a great scrum from the Marlins there. Tight head and loose head pushing through the scrum. They lost it, Bill. Never mind. <laughs> Stop chewing me. The penalty to Snappers here. Looks to go quick. Hits the guy we talked about, the skyscraper. He is. Oh, and they just bring it Can back. Can name on that number five ball? Number five, Snappers doing loads of boots. Doing who is the uh, number five? Ransom Thomas. Ransom? No, Thomas, Thomas Ransom. Ransom. Oh, that's Another boy who goes better to see, I'm pretty sure. Thomas in the same year as the other boys. Ransom. Ransom. Used, to watch, used to ref him in back in primary school. Play for BDC. He's an absolute unit. Coached by Darren Jamison. Is that right? They're going to footy on this fine day. Where is BJ? Pretty sure he's reffing us, reffing the other 18s today. Stick around, watch that game. Personally, I'm not playing, but <laughs> it will be a cracker of a game. 18s always good to watch. Great standard rugby. People call us the role models of the club. <laughs> <laughs> We've got another scrum here from, I think, Snappers Mullins feed. Young Jack Barry in at halfback. Great kid, got a great ball on him. And there, he, there he goes again. Oh. Too strong, too powerful. Yeah, can I, again, can I get a burst of check on that ball? Oh. Oh, little fumble there by yeah, Jack. Guys, I've got, um, folks, folks, I've got to go. I, um, I think we're warming up soon. Yep. Thanks for um, being with us, Zeb. All good, mate. Good luck in your game. You too, boys. I'll see you at the end of the park. As you can see, Marlins have worked really hard in their scrum for the past couple of months during pre-season and during the season. So we'd like to think that we'd like to think that the Marlins could um, overpower this snapper scrum. Coached by the Marlins, great Buddha, teaching them scrums all year. As you can see, there's one that scrum, Jack Barry. Great pick up there by young Jack Barry. Yeah, you love to see Buddha at training, coaching the young ones in the scrums. So passionate about coaching. Just yeah. loves to see the boys succeed. Everyone's had a co go at Buddha and the coach, so it's been good. He's a great, club great. Starting props back on for Mullins. We got Jake and Luke. Luke taking off Jack and Sonny. Sainz has been playing good footy, hasn't he? Or? Yeah, really stepped up. First couple of games, just getting into the game. First year, obviously. And then I think it was a game against Hastings. Oh, no, it would have been Snappers two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Apparently out of blinder. Got the three points. Oh, you'd love to see that. Another big scrum here from the Marlins. See if they can win this one again. That's Jack Simmons warming up. Good looking roost to that one. Mm. There's that Imogen we were talking about. Got a great pass on her. Better than most of the boys. 
It's a good pick and drive, a nice tackle there by Luke. Sam the number one. over the ball. Oh, again. That's a great tackle there Luke. from Luke. Young Luke. Just struggling to roll out. Just what you love to see from a prop, rushing up and putting the shot on. And he's a fit bloke as well, so he's always there. there great tap. Lincoln taking it quick. Great tap there. Good tackle there by Maggie. Snapper's looking for quick recycle. Good run there by Snappers. Umbrella defense from Mullins looking really strong in the back line. Shutting them down. Great pick there by the Snappers. Oh, it's a knock on, knock on. And there goes that Riley. man we are talking about, Riley, Riley Evans. Great tap. Oh. Shrugs a couple off. Still going. And Lickers headed the penalty. <laughs> good kick there by Tom O'Connor. He's been playing good footy, hasn't he? Yeah, he has stepped up quite a bit. Last couple of games he's had blinders. Sweet Just in seat. defense and in offense. Sweet luck see from the ten. Good ball running 10, great in defense. A bit like Jack Canning. Oh, wait, besides the defense. Jack Canning is their coach. Yeah. Here goes Seed, we're talking about. Great tackle by Lincoln, around the legs. Good clear out there by, um, oh, I can't really see. Got Seth Moody in at 10, he's got a great ball on him, that kid. Here goes Jake Grismo. He's, a, oh, he's obviously a good footy player, come from a row league. He goes really hard from the Marara boys. His dad and I know used to go very hard, so it's good he's Coffs Comets Jr. and yep. then went to Rara. Yep. Already means they've already talked about that. Uh, oops. All good. Sorry. I guess half time earlier so I know the last fight. Final play. The scrums from Mars have been really strong today, so let's see if they can end this one, end this half with a good scrum. Snappers will really be looking good, for really. some points here at half time. Got a long way, but it's a really good strong, strong scrum. I think you've been helping them a fair bit mm. on the paddock with the scrums. Yeah, I've been helping them with scrums and line outs, you know. But you know, it's got to give it all to Buddha. He's the main culprit out of all of it. Really does a great job with the boys. Mm. Marlon's veteran, Buddha. You can see Lucas Moore can get back on the second half, see what he can do. Free kick there to Snappers. They'll really be looking for some points to top off second mm -hmm. half. They're obviously going to tap it, so let's see what they can do. They're going to go back play or forward play. They're going to run in the forwards. Great tackle Good around tackle the angle, Simo. Good looking rooster we were talking about before. Yeah, he's not a bad looking rooster. I guess Lincoln sniping through. It's a good run. Great Good player, body good great body player height. Lincoln. Mm. It's a good pick, but body height's a bit high. You love to see a prop that can attack around the ankles and around the hips, can't you? But Luke. Miles need to control himself, not giving away so many penalties here. Yeah, lacking in discipline. Not the way you want to finish the second half. And there goes Liam Damon, the one I was talking about. Great player. It's a good run up the middle there. You're making meters. There's Tom, number 10, filling it at number in 10, the ruck. You'd love to see that old mate. You do it a bit, don't you? Bit of tackling. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. Not really a tackler, just. Just in it for fun, really. Yeah, we're all in it for fun, mate. It's a great sport. Great ball by Lincoln again. Oh, Riley Evans, good tackle. Quick over the ball yeah, is oh, Sam Cox. Good attempt at a pill there from Sam Cox, but really good ground for Snappers. Snappers really got Mullins on the back foot here. About two yeah. minutes in the injury time. Yeah. As Good Imogen we're talking Tom. about. Oh, There's Mullen no, Canning over the ball. Oh. Another stupid penalty for Mullins. Could you can be costly. See, you can see his numbers are really strong up to the middle. Like, Great like, tackle from Tom. Yeah, There's so. Sam Cox over the ball again. And, that's and he's won the penalty. Finally. Took him out three times, but he's finally got it off there. That's good work. But like I said, snappers are really strong over the ball, and it'd be hard to penalty today. 
Right, they're just finishing off the second half. Oh, the first half, sorry. Both so, half time score is Marns are up 17 5. Oh, what do you think Snappers and Marns need to work on in the second half? Um, uh, my opinion, I reckon the Marns, just their discipline, just giving away silly penalties, and if they just keep their hands down and not give away too many penalties. Not giving away too many penalties, and I reckon they'll get over the top of these Snappers boys, and Snappers just in attack. Maybe just swinging the ball out to the wings. Yeah, Marlins snappers, are a bit snappers soft definitely need to stay confident because this is not this game's not over. They snappers gonna need to come back and win this, so I can count you on that. It's a good team. And of course, uh, guys, um, uh, everyone who's watching, um, subscribe to Kyle Hands Media. You'll not miss out on any of, on any of the live streams, um, got, uh, AFL and Rugby Union each weekend and of course uh, four games today, um, the main game being the under 18s which will be a close counter. What do you think boys, uh, the under 18s game, uh, what, what's your opinion, what, how's it going to go? Uh, I reckon it'll be a cracker of a game. Yeah, definitely be tight, um, both teams, mum's got the upper hand over the past couple of weeks, the Stabbers can always pull something out, can't they? Yeah. These under-14s uh, are really showing a high standard of, um, of football. Yeah, of course. They've definitely like levelled up since back when we played under-14s. It was more like a bit of just school footy, just chucking the ball around. But these 14s teams really got great structure and just just the simple skills they've just nailed. Uh, like it all goes down to both, both captains of both teams br um, bringing in structure early into their careers. So um, when these boys are 18, they'll be unstoppable. How, how important is the result of this game? I mean, uh, what happens to the loser? Well, if you lose, you're gone. You're not playing again for the rest of the season. So this game for every single grade is um, really important because if you win, you go to the grand final. If you lose, you don't play till next year. Yeah, it is a do or die game of footy. The boys so, will really uh, be looking for basically, you love the game of football and you want another game, you've got to win yeah. today. Yes. Yeah. Um, if you don't lose today, you're going home. And uh, favourites to take out the grand final? What do you, is, do you think it's going to be one of these sides out here today? I, I honestly reckon whoever reckon wins today could probably mm. knock off. Most likely will be Hastings in the grand final, and I'd, I reckon they could get over Hastings. I think both teams here can win the grand final easily, but obviously they've got to play to their top potential to beat Hastings. They're a really good side. Yeah, um, it seems to be uh, the Fords. They're trying to work out who's dominating in the Fords. The, the Snappers are, are strong up the middle, and... Uh, and um, so, you know the, the university uh, side is uh, you know also looking very. Um, like the Marlins are looking uh, strong in the forwards as well. Yeah, at the start of the game it was Marlins overpowering them in the scrums, but the back end of that second half it's really changed. The snappers just yeah, had them on the back foot the whole way up the field. So. You can really see snappers getting over that ball really strong and nicely because um, yeah, every single time Marlins go for a pilf, there's always someone there over the ball. Wind's starting to pick up a wee bit now. How do you think that's going to affect the um, the second half? Uh, I reckon that Snappers are going to come out probably stronger than Marlins after that, the way they finished off that second half. Just their forwards, just running with a bit of intent, a bit hungry for a try. Trials will come for Snappers if they have a go. Let's keep their head on. They do have Marlins. They had them push Marlins the whole way, the whole field. In injury time in that second half, so we're just in on the um, in on the uh, snappers side because the Marlins are, are just out of sight down down in the shade. But um, what's the coach saying to those snappers, those 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 little guppies at the moment? Oh, I reckon the coach is saying to keep your heads up because they're playing good footy. They just got away with Marlins just scored a couple lucky lucky tries, and snappers have really got the structure at the moment and having them on the back foot and just to keep the foot on the throat and just keep giving it to the Marlins. I reckon he's definitely emphasising that um, the intensity needs to really pick up and um, yeah, strong for the forwards and give that back a bit of room to move and score some tries. So guys, just um, yeah, feel free to share the link. Obviously um, tune in, there'll be four games today coming from Rugby Park. Um, subscribe to the page and you won't miss out on a live feed. Um, the women's game today, the women's tens is going to be interesting. You know, how, you know, how do you think that'll go? Well, the women's game last week was a fight for it. Yeah, um, it was, a good game. was a great game of footy. 
lost on the mounds and there's the Marlins girls in Port Verst. I think it was a blowout, but last weekend it was a really great game to watch for girls footy and it was a close game. I think snap, um, Pirates just got the upper hand on full time, but it'll be a great game this afternoon yeah, to watch good, that. Good to see. I'm really keen to watch that game because it's, um, it's been just a really good season for the girls. Um, they've been coming out playing really good rugby and um, yeah. And of course the... Um the under 16s have just started to just gone out the paddock there to start warming up. That'll be our next game after this one. Under 16s, guys, your prediction there? Well, last time they versed, they won by a try in the bell, so it's obviously going to be a very tight game. Anyone can win it, I reckon. And uh, look, rugby union, particularly this year, it seems to be getting stronger and stronger on uh, the North Coast. Why is that? Well, this year. I believe that like because of the virus and whatnot, we got a couple of boys from league and everyone was just hungry to play a bit of sport. So you think, they'll, boys... you think they'll stay? I mean, the, the rugby yeah. culture is different to the league culture. Yeah, I think they underestimated it a bit. Like coming into it, they were probably thinking a bit down on it. And then when they actually got in the games and the community of it, they really enjoyed it. Well, that's what I've been told from yeah. all the boys. Uh, yeah, I think they really enjoy it because um, they're actually really good at it. To be honest, like a couple of our boys in our team, they've come from league. They've being already one of the best players in our team. All right, getting back into the second half. In about two minutes. So the score is 17-5. Marlins winning. So just got a new member up here, Oscar Watson. And, uh, and Ash Chapman. Under 18's player, role model for the younger boys, people like to refer to him as. Yeah, look, got a good game out here today. Under 14's boys coming back out of the sheds. Looks like we got a, another good half, a bit of good hard footy to be played, I reckon. Great chat, Oscar. He's full with that one. Full with that one. Yeah, love to talk about Oscar Watson. Doesn't really back it up with his footy, but... <laughs> Give it a ring, Sol. <laughs> no. Oscar's one to watch in the future. He's a really good player. Back in Oscar's young years, used to be probably one of the best blokes running around the paddock, but wouldn't say the same about him this year. <laughs> it's been an absolute decline in the past few years. Really just nice. give... Um, it's a bit of a decline in the last few years of the footy, really just focusing on the socials. Um, School? Yeah, uh, I'm just happy to, you know... Have a couple of quiet beverages with the boys after the game and kick on afterwards. Yeah, Oscar's really lifted this year. I will be fair. Young years were great. This year's really risen. Taking the starting role at, in the in the front row doesn't look like one, but sure plays like one. This bloke. Here's an early kick from the Marlins. Great line choice, speed. That's a great oh, Looked at first. Force a turnover here in the snapper's own half. Snappers will be looking to get out of here, but. It's a great tackle there by Jay Friendly, but good run there from the snappers. Gonna look to bring it wide here for his own self. Great on his feet, Lincoln. I've talked about him a fair bit. They're gonna go blind here. Great tackle. Oh, beautifully clean. Simo's there, you can always trust him to put a shot on. You can always count on Simo. Oh, Batty. Young, young Charlie Batty, he's always in there, a little pest. Well, there's Angus sniping down the blind, I've talked about him. Quick oh, on his good feet. tackle there. There's Sam Cox over that ball, he's been strong over the ball. Man. Tell you what, that run there by the young number nine for the Marlins reminds me of a young Oliver Canning, actually. You mean for the snappers? Yeah, for the snappers, so. Who's Oliver Canning? Here we go, Malone Canning with it. Oh, oh the lucky little ankle tap there. Oh, there's Angus getting into Malone. Yeah. Loves it. Yeah. <laughs> Malone takes a bicky without even thinking about it. I love to see that from young boys. Get the boys fired up. It's a great run up the middle there. It's another great attribute that a halfback needs. Bit of, bit of pestering from the halfback, getting in the other team skin. Snapper's really got him on the back foot here as well. 
Mine's got the bit on there. Star number five, Zach. He's been probably one of the best players for them all year. Ollie. Yeah, that is true. Mine's got a lot of the reserves out there at the moment. Is equal all around, but the whole Marlins team, yeah. anyone could start, anyone could be on the bench. I don't think there's a bad player in snappers or Marlins, to be honest with you, in 14. It's all yeah. really good, strong rugby. We've talked about the standard and... Oh, here we go, Tom O'Connor. Great. Little knock on there, bro. Great pick up. Jackson looks like a nice pick. Yeah, that's a yeah, good knock. Yeah, knocks one off. No advantage for the knock on. As you can hear, Jack Canning... Yeah, out of his players, you get a bit sick of it, don't you? There goes Zach back on. We talked about Zach Dorigo Jr. Absolute ball runner. See, he's coming from the Marlins. See how these second half scums go with the interchange in from both teams. Snappers powerful, but Marlins good over the good push. Young Marlins hooker Lucas McLaughlin is a really good hooker. Jay Crismal gets knocked by the Cooper Mile. Great good structure here from the Marlins. Let's we'll see if they can just. There, yeah, that Zach we're talking about. Great tackle. Good tackle though. Shown down nicely. Good service and. Jack Barry. That's a good run there from the prop. It's an awesome run. Love to see a prop yeah. break the line. Nothing better than to get the team going. Great Seth Moody with a good, good, um. Got the penalty advantage here, the Marlins. Maybe try something special. No advantage. That penalty really set up. Oh, Tom thinks he's got a big year doing that. I need to settle down, champ. He's his best mate from school. That um, that whole play was really set up by Jake Brindley's good run down the middle. He loves to see a prop in space. He loves to see a prop. <laughs> and see a good line here from the Mars. Clean ball to Jack Barry. He can really throw a pass if he gets clean ball. Yeah. Something special to him. First year of 14. He's got great potential behind him. Great primary school scrum up as well. Getting a free, free kick for I don't know what. But. I think some of the one of the players come in and out of the on line out, so you can't do that obviously. Snappers really looking for points now. Lincoln running the boys around. It's a strong run there for the number one. But all props and hookers have been really good today for both teams. Good the whole strum. Pack for yeah. Both teams is just mm. something special. Nice tip on. Marlins discipline really lacking in the second half. It's a good... Uh, Lincoln trying to snipe down the blind side. Snap looking to bring on a couple of players here. It's a good run. Thomas Wilmot, I think his name is. Wilmot? No, it's sorry. Not Thomas Wilmot. He's an underrated player. For Port. Check the list. Thomas Ranson, yeah, I was right the second time. Great player. There goes Liam Damon. Quick tap. Good tap there by Seth Moody. Seth Moody is one to watch for the future, I'll tell you that much. Snappers really have him on the back foot now. Really need some points. Oh, Charlie's snagged a steal, but coming back for the no advantage. Riley Evans come back on here, same as Sid Benson, one of the two main forwards in this Marlins forward pack. Let's see if they can hopefully bring on some energy and make some knees up the middle. Ref just giving Lucas and the forwards a bit of a warning. <coughs> probably consecutive penalties in the 22. Ref is probably going to get the cards out soon if he gets one more. Mm. Mullins up quick. Great oh. tackle by the winger, Bo. It's a good run though, and he's over. And he's that is a great individual try. try there of the penalty. That's really going to lift up the snappers here for the second half. And they love it. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, how tall is he? Like 7'3, seven, 7'4? Seven, oh, about 14 foot 5, maybe. Yeah, tall timber. That's really good there from the snappers, um, good intensity. I'd love to see a Ford take it right off the tap. Martin, Martin don't let me do it anymore, so. Got faith in Lincoln to knock this over from about 10 in from touch, 22 out. Is Lincoln a BDC young boy? No, he's actually Dorigo Jr. Oh. Not a bad player back in primary school. Mm. Would have card up on Friday nights. As you can hear, as you might hear, Snappers number nine really getting through the boys and really keep the intensity up because this game is definitely not over. Nowhere near over. Especially after that possession from the Nowhere Snappers. Nowhere near over. Nowhere near over. Lincoln comes in and he has nailed it. The kicking from both some, Snappers. Something some special that Lincoln kid. Yeah. As you can see, Malone Canning's having a break now. Same as um, Cooper Marl. Both played really good halves of footy. Don't know who Malone is, but... Yeah. Both kicks from the Snappers and Marlins. Lincoln and Riley have been outstanding today. You don't normally see under-14s be able to kick it from the sideline, do you? Uh, as we talked about, the standard is just really good. And from when I was in under-14s, a mm -hmm. kick from the sideline is like near impossible. Sid taking down the toilet timber there. Sid's not that sure himself either. It's a good... Rent a jack, please. We, we can hear from up here. Good turn over there, Mark really needed that. Get him on the back foot. <laughs> it's a good run there. It's in the ground now. Sunny over the ball. Going blind side. That's Flynn. He's a, Flynn's definitely going to watch the juniors. I think he was brought up by Jam and Dem Darren Jemison in um, Benny C colours. Yeah, was a great junior. Oh, it's a good run there by Lucas McLaughlin. Most known as Steams. Yeah, Steamy, steam Steamroller, roller, Steam Train. You name it, anything to do with Steam, that's him. You know why? Because he runs with Steam in his head. Great run by Jay. Mines really need this. Got snappers on the back foot now. 12 17. It's a quick ball. Charlie Batty here. You can always can in and take a run and drop it. Sid down the blind, we've talked about Sid. Um, and a try there at number four, Sid Benson. Marlins really needed that. We're a bit down after. Came out a bit soft in the second half. Looking to put it on him in the second half. Max Clark goes back on, taking off Jack Barry. Credit's due, where credit's due. Jack Barry's out there having a blinder. The good 20 minutes he was on. Jack Barry should definitely get a warm welcome off the um, off the bench because he's had an absolute crack of a game. So after that try, it just brings the score to I think it's 20, 22, 12 with a kick to come. Hopefully Ryan can slot this because you know he's been kicking them all day. Yeah, Mark, good to see you joining the stream. The score is 22-12 with a conversion kick to come by Riley Evans. Thanks, Mark. Thanks if you've just you. joined, first half of footy was an absolute cracker. Make sure you subscribe to Coles Media. You can watch all games today because every single game I can tell you is going to be a cracker of a game. This one's a really good starting starting point for um, the day here. Great coverage of the games too. Bit of commentary from a couple of boys. There's Riley, there's that strike I was talking about. Oh, I oh, just got unlucky. So, score stands at 22 12. About seven, ten minutes into the second, first, second half. Still plenty of footy left in both sides here, too. So, the game is nowhere near over. Another player to watch for the snappers is young Angus in at the loose forwards with the maroon headgear. Is that number, um, number four? Ollie? Yeah, number four. Yeah, he looks like a strong player. Dorigo Jr. as well. I want to see Flynn have a run here, see how he goes. 
good strong run, run with a bit of purpose. Marlins just really need to hold onto the ball to the snapper's going for a counter. Could pick up there by Sid Bensley. Liam Damon's all over him. Friends from school as well. Obviously Luke's not gonna have a run here. Well, someone got in front of him. It's a great, great run by tackle by Angus. Snappers are definitely snappers have definitely overpowered. There goes Maxie. Max loves a snipe, that kid. There's a counter ruck from Snappers, and they've got the penalty advantage. Just really soft in the rucks in the second half, yeah. aren't the Marlins, don't you reckon, Dom? Well, all through the game, Snappers have definitely had the overhand the rucks. Just... And there's another penalty, and I think the ref will be going into his pocket. You see, you can't be doing that in the second half of footy, especially Sid Benson, one of the most important players in the game. He's trying to see what he's done wrong, but he's just taking his head off. No cheese there for Sid Benson, that's really lucky. Yeah, you, wouldn't be getting the, you wouldn't want to be getting the cheese in a game like this today. Luke's There's Thomas Ranson again, taking all the ta all the runs off the penalty taps. Mm. Great play, I'd be looking at him it. for 3 2 1. Come on, by Ains tonight, if he backs up, good. Yeah, it might get him to back up for the Knights, maybe. Yeah, the Knights, hopefully. Pretty sure the Knights got up yeah. yesterday up at Tamworth, I think it was. Armadale. Armadale. In all three. All, all three games, Marlins, I mean, not Marlins, buddy. Knights. Knights got up, so that's good. The Knights are really, really good in improvement to rugby and Coffs Harbour, to be honest. Um, Marlins and Snappers playing that first game, obviously, and um, picking the team from that. It's actually got a really good side. Yeah, this is a bit out of the ordinary. Snappers and Marlins, usually the biggest rivalry in. Mm. Mid North Coast rugby and maybe even in all rugby in New South Wales, country footy, and then deciding to join a team for to go up to the New England clump was really a change. Before this year, Marlins and Snappers first round, I don't even think called each other. So it's good that they've actually built structure and had a, made a good team out of it, and they can be really good intenders to win the combat there. The snappers have really got the Marlins on the back foot here, playing with great structure. There's Lincoln again, great run by the prop. Good tackle there by Riley Evans. And there's a steal by Riley Evans. Really needed that Marlins to stay in the game. And here he goes. Oh, he's got a tackle, great tackle there from the winger, I think it was. Bit of, bit of a commitment to the rocks by the Marlins. Good rush up the fence there by Snappers. That's actually great. Great line speed. I think it was number 10. You don't remember that from number 10, do you? Oh. There's Jake Grismo. Runs so hard with his head Great down. Run. And there goes Zach again. Snapper's really got a lot of intensity in the second half, in defence especially. A little clearing kick from Tom. Coming back for the no advantage. As you can see, um, the two props, same props, Jake and Luke, you want to see them come on and make some real big change in the scrum and the way they run and defend because them two are great great young props Marlins have a lot of depth of um, props this year, got two great props coming off now and they've got two great ones coming on so it's always good to have four props it's like they can all a prop and hooker so that's good. Yeah it really gives the big boys a bit of a rest when they need it going as hard as they do out in the field don't mind them sit down on the bench for five minutes Probably close to 15 minutes left in the second half. Really fighting to keep both seasons alive, both teams. Great throw by Lucas in the line out. Ah, I don't think Lucas, you never see Lucas throw. I'm not a straight boss. So he's really working that hard. I'm good friends with Lucas, so he's always working on his throwing, so that's good that he's always hitting it right. Jack Canning yelling orders from the sideline, the coach. Typical. Typical. You should hear him on the field. You don't want to hear him on the field. He's loud. 
see first scrum on when the props back on to see how to go and snap is that's a good oh a little error by Angus you don't see that much rest called it back Bit of benefit of the doubt yeah I reckon that'd be a knock on there maybe but not my decision it's Lincoln again playing the league type rugby with the first receiver giving on the tip yes. on Number one from Snappers has had a really good ball carrying this game. He's um, played outstanding. There's Lincoln again, quick on his feet. <laughs> Flynn, he's a great player there. Good tip there. Jeff has nailed that call just then. Snappers making changes too. Simo's back on, he's a good looking rooster. Yeah, Simo, I don't know if I said, good looking rooster that one. Off comes Zach and Tyree and Lockie Potts, all our blinders. And the captain, Storms. Yeah, he's always looking for a rest. Talk about Steamy in his juniors and that, door. As you can see, he's always been a mark. Just got the ball then, sorry. Yeah, Steam has always been a man, always will be a man. He'll be a man with Gray, I reckon, in the past couple of years. In the, in the past few years. Mm. He's played a bit of league, played a bit of union, so... Good, friend, just, good family friends with him? Yeah, I'm pretty good family friends with him. He's an all right bloke. Good footy player as well. Good young hooker. You don't really get him at young ages. But it's good to have a young, young solid hooker. Important scrum, this one. Mullen's own half. Great hook. I don't know who's in the hook up. I think it's nailed you. up. Oh, it's Flynn. Great ball from Tom. Sends Jay down. Tom in support. Oh, he's going to go Doesn't away. Doesn't give it. Let's Great try there. Great try from Mullen's. Tom Connor. Tom O'Connor setting that up like he usually does. He is an absolute beast of a player. Mm. Sliced. Last weekend and the weekend before, I think Tom O'Connor came out with the play of the match. Well deserved. Also great in his junior years, BDC. We'll give credit to Darren Jamison, don't you reckon, Dill, bringing up these BDC boys? Mm, well, All the well, BDC team in year six, pretty much. Cut in half and half went to Snappers, half went to Marlins and mm. it's just different standard of rugby rugby from Darren Jamison. Mm. I've had Darren as a coach and so have you all in. He just brings an aura about him to the games like you just when Darren talks you don't talk, so he really brings that standard of rugby and he's really professional, which I think a lot of people like about him. Great strike from Riley Evans, takes a score, 29, 12. About maybe ten minutes left in the second half, maybe less. Snappers don't look to be lacking in this second half either, coming out from this kick. They're really looking for an error from Marlins, put some points on. Maybe put it up short, a bit of contest from the front rowers, as he does. Oh, great take by Jakey. Well, that's another great run from Jake. He's been outstanding today, hasn't he? Has had a blinder today. Here goes Flynn Maybe again. Flynn, good, hard, strong run. You love to see Mays getting eaten up the middle by the Marlins forwards and Snappers forwards. There's Sid, great run. Mine quick over the ball. Show there you Jack Canning reffing from the sideline again, as, he, as usual. Has really coached the boys well this year. Mm. Got to give it to him. The structure that's just with the team. He got Sid down the sideline. Blind. Go on, bring it there. Oh, he... He's Pass away, looking to go under the post. Mullins, fifth try. And he got Sid under the post. That's great. And the boys love try. it. Could be close to say that that might have put the game away. I wouldn't say that straight away. Well, you never know. Snap was a really good team. They can always come back. That is true. I shouldn't mm. have said that. 
when I put it past him, it's 100 nil. So he's still back in the win. Off comes Sid and Flynn, both had blinders. Both BDC juniors as well. I'll tell you what, these are And Thomas falling. Ranson coming off as well, another BDC junior. Coach by Darren Jamison. I'll tell you what, these under 14s blokes love their hairstyles, don't they? I can see Mullins, Muddy, everything. How long we got? How long we got? Two and a half minutes left in this game. The score being 36 to 12, miles up, so still going to be a strong two left, two minutes left in the game. Snap of the water. No doubt finish off their season on a high by maybe putting a couple points on Mullins. Another great kick from Lincoln. Great contest by Liam Damon. There's Simo, that good looking rooster. There he is again. Good looking rooster, isn't he? Yeah, he is a great looking rooster. There goes Zach down the blind. Went back. Oh, he's that run here. Bit of slow ball in the rock. Tom O'Connor with a Great decent ball rally. rally. Good pick up. See him go. Oh, he's best track through. And he's going oh, the good work. To Jono. Just, to Jay Crismo. Actually, just top it off. You'd love to see the swan dive under the post. Boy's getting a bit carried away here. As you can see, number 90, 91's coming on. <laughs> Who's that, Ollie? Bo. Bo, he's a good young winger. Yeah, quick down the sideline. Yeah. I think he runs about six seconds in 100 metres. Something like that. Pretty sure he beat Usain Bolt or something. I've come to beat? Jay Crismo. Had a blinder today. Don't know if he knows, but had a blinder. But more importantly, boys, look, looking at that dive, I mean, and considering uh, Australia have been so strong in the Olympics, are we talking, was that an Olympic dive there? How would you score the dive? Oh, I'd probably give it, a, actually I'd probably get a seven, I reckon he could have done way better than yeah, that. I'd probably give it a four or five. Jake Crismo knows he can do better than that, so I have to have a yarn to him about it after the game. Mm. There's Riley Evans putting the ball over the fence, don't think there's any need for it, but he's just built different. His butt top's cold. Big Filipino boy. Mm. Don't loves you love, his footy. Don't you love when the kicker kicks it over the fence? It'd piss you right off, wouldn't it? So, the score is 43 12, Marlins up. Probably about a minute left, not even. This might have made a final play. Oh, and he's. Leave that, boys. Oh. We'll give it to Lincoln, but it's the only first one he's, it's the first one he's shanked all yeah. game. He's had a blinder. Really should keep his head up. He's got great potential. A lot of these boys will probably get into the rep pathways next year and the following years, countries, CCC, CHS, all them things, ACs. It's good to see them and how they perform in the higher rep. Um, yeah, I'd love to see these boys succeed and go far with their rugby. So just before you had the final hooter sound, so Final Marlon play. just be looking to get pull rid of the ball. Put a cheeky try on maybe, never yeah, know. Maybe a cheeky try. Some cheat. It's great a great scrum. hook. Oh, oh. Just unlucky hook. That's a penalty. penalty for, we call it high tackle, yeah. Referees love to give a high penalty tackle this, this yeah. year, don't they? They have been a bit. Cutting down on the high tucklers and the strong tucklers. Oh, no. Great this, run. Oh. Early try. Oh, oh good Tom. rip there from Tom. Strips it away. There goes Maggie. Okay, Mags. There's Tom. Links up with Tom again. Oh. Tom with the dummy. Here's oh, there we go again. Links up with Maggie. Oh. Finds Bo. Number down 91 the down the sideline. Oh, oh, there we go. Snappers again with that great. um. Rock work. They must have worked the uh, training really hard. There's a late penalty to the snappers. There goes a the big prop. Oh, good tackle there from Sam Cox. Sam Cox. Love to see you. Oh, get up a bit wobbly there, maybe. Have to get him out for a HIA. Did get up a bit, a bit wobbly. I probably wouldn't stand in front of that bike. 
peek away. Feel like a brick. You should ask. Another penalty to Mullins. Mullins got to be careful not to get a yellow card because it could affect the rest of the season. Jack Kane, once again, yelling from the sideline, not needed. Good run yeah. there from the snubbers. Great run, bad defense from Barnes. It's always hard to get in front of them big blokes off the taps. It's pretty scary. There's Maggie McConaughey with a great tackle. She's been trained really hard over the past pre-season and during the season. As I said, goes harder than all the boys. Mm. Snubbers play looks a bit shooken up after Maggie yeah. tackled him. I think he might got a bit of a cock there because not looking too shabby. Another penalty advantage for Snappers. Not a good way to end off a good game. Marlins. Yeah, typical Marlins. Always not finish off the game. Yeah, typical Marlins. Can't finish off a game. Here we go again. Another good. Oh, oh my God. Oh, we talked about his tackling. He's Simo just a level the... above. I oh, Simo with the leg drive. Oh, yeah. Buddy, Simo. always he's a good looking rooster. Simo just... <sighs> Putting on probably one of the biggest tackles I've seen. And he is bugging. He's probably thinking, bloody hell, just a good looking That wraps it up. up. So, over, overall, was a great first half, equal first half by both teams, and just Marlon's got the up hand in the second half, just everything fell to place, and just got over him in the end. Final score, 43-12. Thank you, up. Kyle Hans Films, for filming that game, and hope you stay around to watch the um, rest of the games.